Welcome to um, the ENG Battle of Britain international competition. This was started by myself um, to basically give you as much access to high performance netball as possible. The more you compete, the more you engage in high performance environments, whether it be cleaning a thousand dishes or going into an international environment, you're going to improve. You're going to improve cleaning dishes, you're going to improve your netball. Um, most of the time, it's not about who's better, it's about who has the most experience. And this is why we're doing the, these competitions, to give you the ultimate experience, whether it be match play experience or whether it be from a media perspective, social perspective. We're going to be interviewing you. We've got photographers, we've got live streaming. This experience, the whole experience, will help develop you as a player um, from a, a personal perspective and from a professional perspective. You've all been part of the process of coming to our performance camps, playing, competing, then going to the national finals, playing, competing and winning. This is now to find out who the, who the best country is, basically, within our performance programme. You're all representing your countries, so you are representative of England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales. Enjoy the experience, that's all I want you to do, but at the same time, maximise the opportunity. In all your heads, it should be, can I walk away a champion? Can I walk away a winner? And, how, and what we said in the camps, two things you can control is your effort levels and your mentality. That's it. Everything after that, we'll leave that one to God, okay? You can't dictate how someone throws a ball to you. You can't dictate decisions your coaches make, but you can dictate how hard you work and the attitude you have when, you, when you're coming into the match play. So if you control those two things, I can guarantee you, you're probably gonna have a good time. I believe there's not enough competition within netball. Um, I think more competition improves you as, as a player. You can train all you want, but putting that into practice is the most important part of it. So we come up with an idea to kind of 
put on performance camps with the girls coming to the performance camps, being competitive, getting involved in, in, in competitive match play. The winners of, a, of the regional um, rounds will then go to a national finals. The winners of the national finals will then represent their country at an international competition. So this gives the girls the opportunity to play against multiple from girls across the, across the country, whether it be England, Scotland, Wales or Northern Ireland. And then obviously if they win the nationals, they get to represent their country in what we call the ENG Home Nations International Cup, which is being held here at the um, WLV gym in Walsall. Um, no, I see every opportunity as an opportunity. Yeah. Um, for me, the Welsh team, as you said before in the interview with the girls, when they play against England, it's always been that England's winning in yeah. the year groups on the 15, 17 and 19. For me, this process is about giving them the opportunity to experience this at a different level. So doing the final with the North and the South gave me a good picture of the team and for me I think it's a bit different for the Welsh team this year because we've got half from the north and half from the south so the process is that I had them yesterday doing an intensive session so we managed to do our setups so it's getting the girls to understand to focus on themselves and not what the other teams are doing but what we're doing these girls um, they know what I am um, to expect they know that the drills they know what they need to do body wise strength wise sort of like so I don't know if you've noticed um, they've just got on with their drills sort of like I'll say could we go and do that drill they set it up so they're very sort of like on it on it on it you know so I'm super impressed with them Well, we don't really know how the other teams, like, have their intensity and how good they are, but, like, we're going to try and just go in full on and try and win, basically. I want to win as well, but <laughs> I think just doing it will be a good experience to see other countries' standards, because I haven't really played anywhere other than Wales. Yeah. So to be able to see the different standards and what might be in the future for me would be nice. Oh, really, yeah. I kind of feel that pressure, but then like I kind of like put my pressure to the side and try try my hardest and like kind of like clear my mind and like try to think, okay, I'm in netball now, like and like if they're like taller than me, I'm like, okay, little whip and lippies passes, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, well, there's obviously a lot of tall, very tall girls here today, but you just gotta know that you are, you think you're the best here and hope that you win and don't let what others look like get in your head.
Um, we're feeling good. Um, we don't want to get over cocky. We want to just stick to our plan, stick to our setups. Um, so we're just chilling now, and then we'll just start our warm up for our next game against Northern Ireland. Um, I was confident with our setups and how we executed those. Um, so it's just doing the same again in the next match. I was so happy and so proud of the whole team for winning. We weren't. We weren't not expecting it, but we weren't expecting to come and win. We, were, we didn't really know what we, how we were going to do, but I mean, considering we've never played against them, we don't know how they've played, we don't usually play as a team, I think we did really well. So it was nice to see the dynamics and it was nice to see final links being made. And it was such a nice outcome. It was a bit unexpected from my angle, but I'm really happy with it and I think all the girls are glad. I'm feeling really well. Um, some lessons learned, sort of like, um, I think it's in the moment, the girls are sort of like overwhelmed. Um, the second and third quarter, they pulled it back, but in the last quarter, we sort of like didn't get that result. But I'm, I'm so proud of the girls, really am, really am. So I'm just waiting for the next game, going to regroup and like smash it. Um, I think that we went into it hard and we knew we were going to face a strong side. We just got a bit silly with the ball sometimes and threw it away, but next game will be better than ever. Um, we need to take our time and realise we've got longer than we think we do with the ball and the game is longer, it's not like tournament games. I think we started on strong and like we kind of like held it and then in like the third and fourth quarter we kind of like rushed and we threw the ball away. I think for the next game we need to like slow down our passes because the goalkeeper like caught on to what we were doing so I think we need to like change our tactics a bit and like I think we, we can win the next game so. excitement is building they're going to be nervous going to be having to learn to cope with those nerves and uh, deal with myself and Lisa you know coaching them and maybe you know having that side of us there as well pushing them being challenged it's just and I can only see positives coming from this you know no matter what the outcome obviously we are here we want to do well the girls want to you know get be challenged we want to you know give it our best shot We'd love to win, we'd love to go out there that you know every team has that in mind. Um, but just the whole experience is what we're really here for to give those girls a taste of what what can be ahead of them. I think it'll be a good, I mean we're so going into the unknown like we've not really yeah. seen much of each other so I feel like we're all going at the same kind of level, we don't have any expectations but I think for the girls like nerves in the first game but I think um, a lot of the basics and stuff we've been working on I think will be really important um, to have a good game against them and I think it'll be a really nice game to kind of start our campaign off um, with and I hope that they can push through and get the win but again for us it's just about learning. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm with the Wales head coach, Leighton. Um, I think that it's going to be quite good because like, we haven't played against any of these girls before and it's like a new experience for us and just like, I don't know, just like a good all-round experience. It's just a really good opportunity because it just, it's in the name Erin Not Given. You just get to work as hard as you can and however hard you work it means you get rewarded for it. Um, I'm excited for it to play against other countries and see the standard, but it's going to be tough. I think everyone seems like they're a really good standard of netball and I think it's going to be a great opportunity for all of us just to see what the standard is in different countries and play against them. Just pride, just really pride. I'm delighted that the girls have started so well. I couldn't have asked for a better start. Um, I'm looking forward to the next match now. But this is what we're here for. You know, it was tough the first match, definitely against Scotland. Um, you know, we just didn't know what to expect, and that's part of it. So they got their lead, they got comfortable, and they just continued with that. I mean, it's good to get us started into it, and the score, we're happy with the score. So we played well, I think. Um, Scotland, yeah, it was a great game. It's great to get us started off in a win. And I think we all came together really well as a team. Yeah, I think uh, our first game out, it was tough. Um, I think the uh, pressure and the intensity that the girls had to adapt to is their first game. A bit nervous, but I think we kind of grew into the game and they kind of settled down a wee bit and we started to open up. Our shooting surf won't have more opportunities on goal. Uh, these girls don't play together at all, so uh, building those connections again, I think, in our first game has shown us where a wee bit of tightening up needs to do and then we'll take the next two games and see how we get on. We tried our best, but our nerves really got the better of us, so so I think in these next two games we're really going to just like, since we've played our first match it should be a lot like more comfortable to get into it. Like I definitely think that game was like very, like we were all really nervous, it was our very first game. It's not the result we were looking for, ideally we wanted to win but and as individuals we're all amazing players but we were struggling to gel a wee bit but we didn't give up till the very end we kept on pushing, that's what's most important. So if we don't give up then hopefully we'll see a bit more success in the next couple of games.
With wheels, and we knew it was going to be hard, we knew it was going to be physical, but the girls rose to the occasion and I couldn't be prouder as a coach and they're just absolutely fantastic and brilliant performance so far, so hopefully it'll keep going. Second game we were definitely a bit more tired because we had the match straight after the first one, but we just treated it like, a set, like another quarter in it, so we didn't stop, we just kept going and it was definitely tougher than the first one, but we kept pushing through it. Um, Wales, it was such a tough game. It was so tight the whole way through, but we pulled through and we kept our own ball and it was great. A game against Northern Ireland, a loss. Um, we didn't really stick to our plans. Um, and I think the girls looked at the score, how Northern Ireland beat um, Scotland. And they thought then, oh, you know, they sort of psyched themselves out. So we've spoken to them, we've reset, so hopefully we go again now against Scotland, try and get that win, we're up, push ourselves into the final. Well, it was a shame that we lost, but they were an excellent team. And at the side, I thought it was pretty head to head, but I think we lost at the end. But overall, I think we played really well, and I'm looking forward to possibly playing them again. Um, I think we played well, I think there were a few ups and downs, we didn't play to our full ability but hopefully next game we will and we'll just go in, try our best, hopefully get to the final. We had to pull this one out of the bag to like get to a higher standing in the league. Um, it was a case of safe hands, interceptions, and like just getting them goals in. So, like, and I think the girls actually smashed it, smashed it, smashed it. I think we played really well. Uh, we kept the pressure going and like we kind of held it together. Our passes were strong and we kept getting the goals in. Some some goals we shouldn't have like let in, but others I think we did really well. Um, I think the Scotland game was a great game because obviously because of the Wales loss before, our heads had dropped a bit, but we did really well to keep our heads high and we knew we wanted to win. So we just went for it and not much went wrong. Uh, we fixed all our mistakes that we're making in the first game and I'm really happy with the result. Yeah, I think we started really strong in that game. Maybe not again the performance we would like to have put out there, but I think we learned from the first game and we, we improved slightly in that first quarter to be down by four. Um, and then I think the girls just silly errors came in. I think sometimes tiredness going off the back of a game. I know we've had the break in between, but the high intensity and high performance that we're coming up against is something these girls probably have never come up against so it's how you bounce back from it and we started really strong and then we just started to dip a wee bit. It's not like the ideal result but we're just going to keep our heads high, stay positive and even if we don't walk out with maybe the result we wanted we just want to learn a lot and have fun and if we throw everything at it and we don't get the result we want it's better than not trying as hard as we can and not doing well and not knowing so just going to keep our heads high, give it everything we've got. Um, I think that it, obviously the results didn't really go in our favour but um, we did give it our best and we're just going to have to keep trying and giving it our best because that's all we really can do in situations like this.
what can I say? The girls pulled it out of the bag. So the first two quarters we were drawing, the third quarter we was behind. And I just said, girls, if you want to be in the finals, you've got to get, we've got to get this win. And hey ho, we've got that win. Stop like so. And while with the points, we're definitely in the final. So I am super, super, super proud of these girls. Really am. It was a really intense game, but like I feel like we did really well to get to the final. And like it was really hard to keep up because they kept getting intercepts, we kept getting intercepts. It was loads of pressure, but we kind of held it together and we tried our very hardest. I think the island game was, we knew what we wanted the outcome to be. And to now be in the finals from the win is, a dream come true really and it was a re really tense game, very close but we took it at the end and very happy to be in the final. <laughs> How am I feeling? Sometimes this is what makes you wonder why, why you coach <laughs> when it was such a brilliant game. Um, I could, again, I'm just so proud of these girls. There was just this, you know, there was an injury, there was changes, they had to play in different positions. We were down by four, which would have meant we wouldn't have necessarily made the final or final two. We came back at them, we nearly had it, you know, it was just so fantastic. The girls are tired, there's fatigue setting in. But again, they are just stepping up to this occasion, and this is why we're here. We're here to get them challenged, to have that roller coaster of emotions, you know, and it's just part and parcel of it. So we've just had a little regroup there. We're ready for the final. I don't know whether it's going to be England or Wales, but regardless, it's going to be good. <laughs> Yeah, it was a really tough match. It was really tight the whole way through. It could have gone either way, but I think we've got our heads up and we're going into the final and we're just going in to win, no matter who we come up against. There was definitely a lot of pressure on us during it because making it into the final. And we like we now know what that pressure feels like, especially going into the final. It's important for us to know how that feels. So now we'll hopefully be more used to it. So I'm excited to see it.
It was a great experience for the girls. It's the first time they've been playing in any competition with this sort of intensity. We're a bit disappointed because we wanted to make the final and we really believe we could have, but because of some of the lack of concentration and we weren't sticking to our formations all the time, it meant we, we got third, which we're happy about, but we know we could have gone further. But overall, it was a brilliant competition. Um, and I'm just looking forward to next year. You know, this weekend has been such a huge thing for these girls to experience. I think um, we built game on game, and I think in that last game for a third v fourth, we were, you know, we were in it for a majority of that game. And for us, it was maybe just silly errors creeping in, tiredness and all that kind of stuff, which is no excuse, but for these girls to play this intensity back to back, the, um, three games and in their last game, and to finally be close to potentially and they're running with these girls, um, it's been amazing and that's all we can ask for as coaches. They've had such a good weekend socialising with people they, have, they never normally work with. Um, me and Cheryl don't work with them either, so having us to support them has been amazing. Um, friends, family that have come out and supported them as well has been really good. and. Um, we need more opportunities like, like, like this in Scotland to play against the kind of home nations um, in the UK and just continue to uh, work together to create opportunities for these girls because they are the future of our pathway and it's really good to let them experience these high intensity situations, pressure, um, back to back games, um, how they recover from it mentally and physically. Um, so for us it's been such a joyful weekend. Um, and we hope that it, can, it will continue and these girls will get more opportunities in our pathway to continue that.
the whole weekend has been absolutely amazing. These girls have really pulled it out of the bag. I couldn't be more proud of them. I am super, super proud of these girls. I couldn't wish for a better squad of girls. I love them all. I love them. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh my god, such, so good. It got tense at times at the beginning, but we pulled through like we knew we could and so happy to got the win. Yeah, very excited. Um, the weekend this, I've been, we've been so, we're all so grateful to have got the experience to have experienced what it's like to be professional players and all the weekend from yesterday's training and today and we're just so happy that we got this experience and that we finally won! Wow, it was amazing. Like watching on the sideline and on the court, it was like so tense at times but we held it together, we played as a team and I think our shooters, defenders and midcourt played really well. It was like really nervous, excited and mixed emotions um, and you can say that we learned new we learned new names, new positions and all we like we've learned to play as a team, we learned people's abilities and I think we worked really well the whole weekend. Oh what a game. What can I say? We knew it was always gonna be difficult. Uh, but we were motivated, we wanted to try our best. It was good that we got everybody on, but again it was just not meant to be. We were tired. I mean this is what it's all about, the challenges, the competitiveness and playing these games one after the other and that's what we're here to do. Um, but unbelievable and I'm so proud of the girls, they were just fantastic. As for the whole weekend, I, I don't know, I think I don't actually have the words. I mean, I didn't know what we were coming to really when this all started, when we started to communicate with uh, Richard. But I'm so glad he got in touch with me. I'm so glad that we put the workshops on and I'm so glad I had the 10 girls that I had with us and Lisa and the support and everyone, even my phone's been going mad, everyone's streaming, all of that. This is just something that is amazing to let people at home see what we're doing. There are no words to say how good and how much these girls have and the coaches have enjoyed this weekend. Thank you to EMG Sports, super. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. Um, you pushed all the way to the end. Fourth place in the whole nation's international club. Oh, you've got to take a team photo, girls. You show that you're more than capable of competing with the best across Britain and Northern Ireland. So, Northern Ireland, up you come, you're on right side. The national finals was the same at the All-Star event. Didn't go according to plan, but um, what you show in abundance is character and the Bulls win. England did start well, but it's not how you start the race. It's how you end the race. You are champions. Up you are.